everybody. Let me first start off by saying I love this freaking episode, so we just gonna hop right into it. True Blood Season 4 Episode 5 was called Me and the Devil. We start off. Tommy is still getting his ass whipped by Jolie. Now, let me tell y'all something. I don't like Tommy or whatever, but it's like, I don't want that to happen to him. You know, he shouldn't have to turn into dogs to support his parents. Like, that shit is just totally crazy. And so, I was like, damn, like, oh my God, Tommy about to die. And so, but Tommy, he ended up getting away. And he whooping Jolie ass. Now, the mama tripping me out. She don't want Jolie to kill Tommy and Tommy to kill Jolie, but she, like, allowing the shit to go on. Like, you, you all the way crazy. So, Tommy end up killing his parents. And let me tell you, I wasn't afraid. And I don't know why Tommy was freaking out. It was self-defense. We hop back to the woods. Marnie ass waking up all discombobulated. And <laughs> she's talking about what's going on. Lafayette like, Hooker, you just pissed off another damn vampire and took a damn nap. Loved it. Also, like, when Marnie was explaining herself and Lafayette was like, yeah, that's some real catchy shit for your headstone. They just really think they just about to die and just be out of there. Arlene and Terry. Poor Arlene and Terry. They really think like that baby is evil or Renee is coming back for them some shit about to happen and Arlene oh my god the part where she was like she don't want to piss God off because she ain't been to church in so long and she shouldn't ask him for someone she need him I thought that was hilarious so then we have to the scene we see Eric open up Sookie door and she's sleeping he laying there and then we see Godric ass. I thought I seen the last of Godric. Godric just keep popping up. But again, it was good to see him. So Godric, he not Godric though. You know, Godric didn't want to be um, a bad vampire. You know, he didn't want to be that way. So when he was like telling Eric to eat her and you weak and all that shit, I was like, the fuck going on? But Eric was dreaming. So I was like, okay. So Eric really went in Suki room. And I think he was about to bite her. But Suki ass woke up and I was like, whew. Why Bill, great, 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 great granddaughter didn't care that that was her great, 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 great grandfather? Where is that okay? And she bringing up all kind of facts and shit. Lady, do you not, you need to get over the fact that you fucked a relative. Like, that's just something not to be okay with, you know what I'm saying? And so I love when Bill glamour her like, look. You have no feelings for me, and every time you see me, you going to have the urge to just scream. How I ass took off running screaming, I thought it was so funny. So, Sookie tells Eric who Godric was, and you know, <laughs> this little sensitive Eric, he was a bitch ass in that bed crying. I was like, look at Eric, little bitch ass. It's just not, I just can't see him like that, because Eric is so tough and no emotion. He just not Eric right now. Just, ugh. I like, yeah, get your bitch ass out the bed crying and shit. Like, how can you, uh, what do you say? Talking about some, how can you, uh, miss someone you don't even remember? Eric, stop. I'm just so ready for Eric to come back. Damn, Pam face was fucked up, y'all. Oh my God. That witch, I'm scared of her. I'm scared of the witch. She messed Pam face up. So Jesus and Lafayette, they go on to Mexico to see Jesus' grandfather. That whole scene with Lafayette had them little twigs. I don't know what he had going on. But I like when Jesus was telling Lafayette the story <laughs> about, you know, the gold and how he got, got took the power in and all that. And Lafayette like, uh-uh, we ain't going to visit your crazy ass grandfather. I love that part. So Tony girlfriend find out her name is Tara. Over it, Tommy ass freaking out. He don't know what to do. He crying. He didn't kiss his mama, his stepdaddy, daddy. I don't know, really know what Joe Lee was. Um, and he go to Sam. Why he got them parents in the back of that trunk? I don't know why. Tommy don't think. He's not a thinker. Sookie goes to Marnie's shop to get a reading and to like find out information, see who was the person that cast the spell on Eric and everything. And I just thought it was great that she could talk to Gran again and she could hear Gran and how Gran was telling her, do not give your heart to the person you are interested in or whatever Gran said, do not. The person you feeling right now, do not give him your heart. And this lady, run Sookie, get away from her now. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, that witch is, she's scaring me. I don't know, like, I'm scared, like, like I'm a vampire or some shit. I'm scared of that woman. Why grand no? What the hell is going on? Why is Andy messing with Sam? I'm just so disappointed in Andy. He a V addict. He, why is he messing with Sam? Sam is such a good guy. Leave Sam alone. But I love how they got pulled off. I was like, Lord, Tommy is about to do something stupid. You know he not a thinker. You know he don't think right. So I'm like, okay, they got the dead parents in the back. Andy telling them to open it. What the hell gonna happen? 
Tommy was on his mother freaking toes. He turned into a freaking crocodile alligator, whatever that was, and scared Andy away. I loved that. I was like, thank you, Tommy. You finally did something freaking right. So then the girl, I forget what her name is, but she said, Marnie ass up quick, huh, with that AVL. I forgot. I forgot that what was that in episode two or whatever that was. I forgot she was working for the vampires. So then we see Marnie and the whatever the witch is taking her back again to show you things that happened in the past. And that whole thing where the priest walk in and got the girl, I was like, oh man, they about to burn another girl at the stake. But we see that the damn priests were vampires. So they got Marnie in this little room. She in the padded room. And, you know, he Bill asking her questions like, what would you do? And Marnie's like, I don't know. I don't know. Y'all, I thought that spirit was going to show up and show out. But it just, was, it just wasn't that. The damn thing's smart. It knew what to do. But I was thinking, I was like, okay, Bill about to go in there, try to glamour something. Bill about to get blew up. Bill about to be gone. Bill just about, y'all know I'm, I'm hanging on to Team Bill. So I'm like, Bill ass just about to be gone. He about to be all the way gone. He going to mess with Marnie. But nothing happened. Like, he went in there and glamoured her. She said she didn't know anything. And that was that. So Alcide and the dude that knocks on his door and was like, he's not a happy camper. You haven't registered with the pack. Why the hell L.C. got to register with a pack? And damn, L.C. is fine. Lord, that thing, he back finding me, y'all. He fine. But why he got to register with a pack? So that's about to be a whole nother issue. That's about to be a whole nother something about to happen. Tommy and Sam. So they're disposing of the parents' bodies. They throwing them in the water. And Tommy's like, oh, shit, I'm going to hell. I killed my parents. He was like, it's part of the Ten Commandments. <laughs> he was like, it's part of the Ten Commandments. You don't kill shit, and you don't fuck with your parents. That shit was so funny to me, y'all. I was laughing. I was like, poor Tommy. But in a way, I was kind of glad that they got them out the way. I know that's, that ain't fucking ain't bad, true, but I'm glad they got them out the way. And, and when they threw the bodies, I was like, damn, the bodies ain't even sunk yet. This is when I noticed Sam is crazy. The bodies was just on top of the water. I was like, they're just going to leave the bodies like that? And then this is when I knew Sam was crazy as hell because he threw some marshmallows out and the gators just attacked the bodies. Sam, what the hell? I know you didn't kill people, but damn. The whole scene where Jason was having sex dreams about Jessica, I knew was what was going on. I didn't even think Jessica was over there because, of course, he drunk Jessica's blood. So, of course, he's going to be feeling some type of way about her. And so, <laughs> why is Hoyt on the side like, oh, now she's freaking moaning. No, oh, now you got her this. Like, it was just, why Jason, I guess it's Jason's dream, so that's why I was dumb. And then how Hoyt got her through was like, oh, that shit was hilarious. This was like a funny-ass episode. I'm not going to lie. It was so sweet when Eric told Sookie, you know, there's a light in you. And I couldn't live with myself if I snuffed it out. That was so sweet. But damn it, I want old Eric Northam back. We need him now. This the end of bed, Sookie. I just, I'm just not understanding what is wrong with, well, damn. So the part where Tony and Sookie are having a heart to heart and she's telling her about her girlfriend, how she thinks she loves her. Again, Tony, Tara, she's still lost. She's still freaking lost. Po Tony, Tara, whatever the hell you want to call it this week. And Eric comes out. Tony, why you ain't calm down? I understand you scared and everything, but you know Sookie would put you in the harm. You did all that. Now she about to go. It's about to be a whole big mess, y'all. had a meeting with Bill. And the rest of the vampires. And we actually find out about this witch. She is um, a sorcerer. And when she was burned at the stake, she cast a spell that made vampires in a 20 mile radius walk in the sun. And her name is Antonia, I'm pretty sure. Y'all, that is so freaking powerful. Whoa. Like, this is about to be some shit. Like, she can make people, these vampires, get up. Okay, she can control the dead. Like, Whoa, like this is about to be crazy. And then the freaking end. Pam is like, let us go rip their heads off. Let us go do this. Let us go do that. And she's like, look what she did to my face. She took Eric's memory. Oh, I was like, fuck. Pam, why did you tell? I was so pissed off at Pam. Pam, you're supposed to be tough. You're supposed to be my girl. I understand you looking kind of crazy. You looking like your true self. You know, you dead. You rotting away. But Pam, why did you do that? So now here go Bill ass. I'm going to rush over the suckers. Yes, I love this freaking episode. I was glued. Shout out to everybody in my inbox or my Facebook who sent me the second part of the um, 
season. OMG. I seen Jessica walking in the sun, slick it and got shot. It's a vampire burning up. Uh, Sam and that damn new pack dude, pack come to the pack, whatever his name is. He it's just so much about to go on. I'm like, can y'all give me the season at once? Why I got to wait? The season is about to heat up, and y'all, this witch, she's something, man. She's something else. She's something freaking else. She ain't gonna be nothing to play with. Eric got the picture. Bill can't do shit, cause he with the authority. He can't touch no human. Um, Pam ain't got no face. What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? And then I'm thinking, if she can make all of them walk in the sun, is she gonna make Russell? Edgington, the old kids, she gonna make him get up and walk because he's still in some cement somewhere. Maybe not because he's in some cement, huh? Probably not. But that ran through my mind. I don't know why. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Love all you troopers. Y'all continue to add me on Facebook and hit me up on my Facebook page. You ask anybody, hit me up on my Facebook page. I get back to you. Sometimes I can't get all the messages because one time I had like 15 messages in my inbox and I was at work. So I couldn't get to all of them. But I get to them. Um, Slowly but surely. Hit me up on um, YouTube. I have to get back into checking my YouTube messages. I'm sorry in my comments and everything. But y'all, let's get into it. Um, again, thanks everybody for y'all support. Y'all just don't know how much I really do appreciate y'all. Team Trubies, I love you guys. And I will see you next Sunday. And oh, I was on time. Bye guys. <laughs>